I want to say that parenting is a simple task if you don't complicate it. But we live in a world today that likes to complicate it. You know, before, uh, I don't know who the parenting guru is today in the world because uh, I'm beyond that. Uh, but, uh, you know, before, I, I, a long time ago, I think the first parenting guru that really came along in the modern world was Dr. Spock. And uh, before Dr. Spock, moms didn't read books about parenting. Moms called their mom to find out about parenting. And uh, parenting was pretty simple. It wasn't rocket science. And it was just, uh, you know, child rearing, they called it. I wonder why they called it rearing, right? And uh, they just brought up those children and they just carried out the simple task of being a mom and dad. And uh, I, I want to give you three uh, principles that are mine, again, uh, that I think will help you in parenting. Number one, simple parenting, biblical parenting, I think, is about establishing a goal. Dedicate the child in the way he should go when he's old, he's not depart from it. Establish a goal in parenting. Now, actually, I said uh, establishing a goal, but it's a continual establishing of a goal. Because, you honestly, you, you have more than one goal. There's sort of that lifetime goal. And uh, I, used to, I used to say it to my uh, children, and I've said this one from the pulpit before too. I, I used to say, my goal, I'd look at Nathan and Hannah, my goal is that when you turn 18, you move. And I'd say it to them just like that. <laughs> I want you to move. I want you to go live somewhere else. Now, that sounds kind of rude, doesn't it? Uh, and yet, how many of you want your children living with you when they're 25, 30, 35, 40? If that happens, then something's, something's wrong, right? Something hasn't worked like it was supposed to. And what you want, as hard as it is, and to those of you, especially who have young ones, you, some of you ladies probably tearing up already. Oh, they're going to leave at 18. No. Stay close, please. <laughs> Trust me, by the time you get there, you'll be... <laughs> no, it hurts then as well. But there is that, this great uh, sense of achievement, I can tell you. When you drop them off at college and you get back in the car and you head home and your heart says, I know they're going to be okay. I know they're going to make the right decisions. I've watched it. I've seen it. I have beaten the foolishness out of them. I have molded them. I have reached this goal that now I can leave them at college or in the military or out to their job, wherever it is, and they're independent and they're healthy and uh, they're making good decisions and they're loving the Lord. And so you set a goal, a goal in parenting. Now, if, if you know that when they're 18, you want to be able to leave them, then you're not going to be that, uh, uh, what do they call it today? Helicopter mom, is that the word? Uh, helicopter mom, you know, when they're 16 or something because, because you're thinking... Just two years, and this little baby has to make it on his own. I better back up a little bit. I better start, uh, you know, putting some distance uh, between here and there, not solving all the problems. And so set goals in parenting. But I, I would also uh, uh, say not only that sort of lifetime goal, you need uh, the goal of uh, uh, some, some, uh, some upfront goals. Uh, for example, uh, tomorrow, I think your child needs to know what the goal is for tomorrow. Maybe what the goal is for a lifetime, but you know, your parenting tomorrow will be a lot simpler if when you put them to bed tonight or when they get up in the morning, you say, now here's the goal for the day. Here's where we're going. Here's, here it is that we're going to do. So set some goals. Uh, you're, you're setting out on a project and you say, okay, here's our goal. We want to get this, this, this done. We want to do it by this and such a time. And we want to do it without, uh, you know, you getting arrested and me uh, getting uh, in trouble and all that kind of stuff. Here's our goal. And we set it out there. And so, uh, simple biblical parenting, I think, is just set goals. And then the second part of that is that biblical, communi biblical uh, parenting is about communicating that goal. Let your child know what that goal is. Tell your child, here's the goal for the project. Here's the goal for the evening. Here's the goal for the day. Here's the goal for the lifetime. So that they themselves know, here's the bar I'm trying to achieve. Here's what I'm trying to go for. So you set goal, a lifetime goal, a daytime goal, an hour goal, whatever it is. You set all these goals and then you communicate those goals. And then biblical parenting in the third place is about molding that child toward the achievement of the goal. You see, 
Uh, you set the goal, and just because you set the goal doesn't mean your children are going to, uh, you know, line up in battle array ready to go at it and say, okay, mom and dad, we know the goal for today. Here we are. Uh, you know, what's next? We're ready to march. It doesn't work that way, does it? You set the goal, you've communicated the goal, and then you got to do some molding. And it's so much easier if you say, now remember, we said we were going to do it this way. We were going to do that. We were going to do this. And your behavior is not bringing us there. And so we're going to have to do some molding here, to some shaping. Now, uh, you can actually, I think, even talk to a four-year-old like that and uh, explain to your four-year-old, uh, you, you, for, you forgot. Remember what I said we were going to do? And you're not doing that, so I've got to do some discipline here. And they begin to understand that. So set your goal, communicate your goal, and mold your child toward that goal. And if you do those three things, then parenting's pretty simple, isn't it? I don't know what your goal ought to be. You figure out your goal. But find a good way to communicate that goal and then mold your child to achieve that goal. Now, every now and then, uh, I think uh, parents mess up in the goals they set, don't they? And sometimes you may have to say, okay, I, I was in hopes that we could achieve this in this project, in this day, in this hour, whatever it is, but it's not working, and uh, I realize that's not, it's, it's not your fault, it's my fault. So I'm going to discipline myself a little bit here, and I'm going to go back, and I'm going to change the goal here, and you communicate that to them. But by and large, you'll be able to make some good uh, goals and, uh, and, and communicate those, and then mold them. Now, uh, uh, with, with, with that simple task of parenting, that threefold simple task, let me uh, then give you two rules. And I think that if you will establish these two rules, that everything will be fine. Can you imagine that?